is Travis Holcomb, and this is Three Song Story. And my guest today is an artist who's familiar to anyone who listens to this show with any degree of regularity. We have Kate Bollinger, whose excellent new release is called Look At It In The Light. Kate, welcome to Three Song Story. Thank you. The idea behind this segment is to try to get to know you through three song selections that you've brought us. And we ask you to bring us something old, something new, and something of your own. So let's start with something old. You brought us a song by an artist named Elise Weinberg. This is Nicodemus. Please don't desert me. Not in my So what can you tell us about that track? Um, so I found this album, actually, Grease, Paint, Smile, um, on tour, the tour that I was just on recently with Faye Webster. Um, and, and it's just, she's like a late 60s songwriter who was kind of in the scene with Neil Young and Joni Mitchell and all them, but it didn't really work out for her in the same way. Um, and then she she just released these two albums and then pretty much gave up music, moved to Oregon and started working in insurance and changed her name to Corey Bishop, which I think is awesome because it's like a more rock and roll name than her real name when she was making <laughs> rock. Um, yeah. But I just love, like, I think this is just such an amazing album and it's kind of semi unknown. Um, Numero Group picked it up and released it in 2015. Every song is so good. Every song is so different. This one I love, um, it has that kind of like desperate sort of like drunken love song thing about it that I really like. Um, yeah, it's just so good. I don't know. I love everything about it. So for your second selection, we asked you to bring us something new and you brought us a cut from a favorite that we share, Alice Phoebe Lou. Uh, this is Mother's Eye off of her Glow album of last year, one of two records that she put out. Um, so let's listen to it a little bit and then we'll talk about it in just a second. One of the things that I feel like you guys have in common is like there's a very subtle funkiness to the instrumentation of both Alice Phoebe Lou's work and yours. Um, where does that funk come from? At least from your, on your end? Man, um, I mean, I feel like, well, so my band is a jazz band and that's had a lot of influence on my sound and my songwriting. Um, I don't know, my, I grew up, I didn't really listen to much jazz or funk growing up, but my older, one of my older brothers loved jazz and always played it. And so I feel like it's definitely had sort of an impact on me um but yeah I love her sound so much it's so good um yeah I feel like she touches on a lot of similar themes in that track that you also sing about in your songs yeah I think that's why I like it so much maybe I mean that whole album just kind of feels like a diary entry or something which is sort of how I approach songwriting too so I feel really close to a lot of the lyrics in those songs. So you have an older brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have two older brothers. One of them is here, actually. I'm at my mom's house right now. How? I mean, like, was he influential in terms of turning you on to new music, or were you guys on separate tracks? Uh, yeah, both of them were really, like, I feel like my music taste is pretty much because of both of my older brothers. I was going to bring one of those songs from Tragic Kingdom, the No Doubt right. album. Um, Cause I remember, I have a really clear memory of getting the Lizzie McGuire soundtrack from my mom for my birthday um, and also getting Tragic Kingdom from my brother. Cause I was like obsessed with pop music and then they were kind of like trying to turn me onto stuff that they thought was cooler. Um, yeah. So that's sort of how I got my music. So Gwen Stefani was the original blueprint for you, your original diva. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's really cool all right yeah. well let's go to your final song selection uh this is a cut off the new release look at it in the light it says who am i but someone and uh let's check it out and then we'll talk about it
right. So that was Who Am I But Someone. What can you tell us about that song? Um, that's a song that I started writing, um, I guess. Oh, man. I mean, it's hard to keep track of time because of the pandemic, but I guess it was in the first year of the pandemic. Um, two of my bandmates and my producer, John, um, the three of us were sharing this month's month storage space um, where we would just make a lot of music. And so I started writing that song alone on electric guitar and then I brought it to them and we um, wrote sort of like the switch up outro part together and just recorded it in the storage space. And then, um, and then like redid it at White Star, um, which is the studio where we record in Louisa. But yeah, that song, I mean, I guess it just kind of came together pretty fast. Like it was a really, it was one of those songs that sort of just, um, kind of fell out of me, I guess. I My interpretation of the lyrics was that it's sort of like about working really hard and not really feeling like you're advancing. Is that fair to say? And was it inspired by the pandemic? Um, definitely inspired by the pandemic. I'm glad that, I mean, I like your interpretation. It's not what I had in mind when I was writing it, but um, it's more about, I guess, knowing being kind of stuck during the pandemic and being faced with my life and think, like knowing that I need to change things in my life and leave Virginia and do all of these things and um, just being kind of in denial about what I need to change. Um, yeah, and that's kind of what the EP is about in general. A lot of the songs are about denial and change and kind of the fear of leaving home and stuff like that. Do you still feel that fear? Yeah, definitely. But I'm going to leave Virginia. I'm kind of, I feel like this EP was sort of like a goodbye Virginia project. Have you now. figured out where you're going to go after that? Um, maybe LA. I want to sublet, I think, in a few different cities. So I'm thinking about doing a couple months in LA, maybe in New York, maybe Nashville. Um, I just kind of want to hop around and see what I like. All right. Well, Kate, thank you so much for taking the time to uh, join us on Three Song Story and uh, congratulations on the new release. Of course. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.